So at about this time yesterday, you seemed pretty confident that David Johnson was going to call yep. for a public inquiry. Your thoughts today, 24 hours later, knowing what we know now and having time to digest Johnson's reasoning, what do you think? I'm thinking that Pierre Poitier is right. You, you don't have to be a conservative to agree with Poitier. And it's not just conservatives who are dissatisfied with what happened yesterday. Canadians are. Since this broke at noon yesterday, Marcy, I've been doing media in French and in English across the country. And, and I have to tell you, I've yet to meet a, a single senior observer of the political scene who thinks, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Sure, Johnson's saying, move along, nothing to see here. Justin Trudeau met the Chinese president and had a set to with him in Bali, Indonesia at the end of November because his staff put out. Trudeau was upset with Chinese government interference in Canadian elections. Since then, they've been doing everything they can to camouflage and to put a lid on this whole thing. It's not working. Johnston is an honorable gentleman, but the minute it became clear that the Trudeau Foundation, and he was in a key role at the Trudeau Foundation, the day he got named special rapporteur, the minute it was clear that that was part of what had to be looked at, Mr. Johnston should have done the honorable thing and stepped back. Instead, he persisted and he signed and he had this press conference yesterday, and he's telling us this. I've looked at the evidence that the people who work for Trudeau have given me, because we don't know what the whole evidence is, and that's the entire problem. And I'm satisfied that most of the media reports are incomplete. And the government, how can he possibly make that affirmation? No minister and the prime minister failed to act. How can he make that very blanket affirmation when there's been no contradictory proceedings, no ability to cross-examine, no ability to ask people under oath whether they have provided all of the information? We're talking about the security establishment that has been under fire. They're the ones who are deciding what they're going to show and what they're not going to show. Their life work is being clever about what they show and don't show in terms of documents. And Mr. Johnson is trying to convince Canadians that he knows that nothing happened with any of the ministers, that there's been no reticence to act, even when Bill Blair, who stood there at that press conference, took months and months to approve something as simple as a warrant to go after some of the information on one of the people, who it turns out had close links to the Liberal Party. So Canadians look at this and it simply does not pass the smell test.